Alright, alright, alright everyone. My name is Zekyo Tango and welcome back to the Starbound 1.4 Warrior Let's Play. So today, and actually for the next few episodes, we're going to be spending the rest of this Let's Play on peacekeeping. Because I think it's about time for us to get in touch with the peacekeepers and start doing some more good for the universe. And who knows, we'll even get some pretty good rewards and missions underway with that. So. Anyways, I actually, I actually accidentally um, activated the, the, the initial Peacekeeper quest, which is you get from this Peacekeeper poster right here. Take a look at this. This job offering has seen better days. The paper is very crumpled and stained. But anyways, let's take a look at what this quest was. This is from this man here. His name is Captain Noble. We'll be meeting him eventually. Becoming a Peacekeeper. Greetings. I'm looking for someone to become my partner in crime fighting. If you think you have what it takes, come out into space and meet me at my humble asteroid base. Alright, so with that quest, let's actually go back up the ship to see if we can find this place. We should be able to detect it with our, um, with our ship map pretty, pretty quickly. Um, what we need to do, I don't know where it is. We actually have to view quest location on our navigation console. And so we're all the way over here from where we were. It's a very far jump to the Atlas Threshold, a gentle star. So let's go ahead and jump to it. Alright guys, here we are at Atlas Threshold, and here is the Peacekeeper base right here, marked with the, with the blue exclamation mark. Let's go ahead and travel over to it. You see, here's the description it says here. Peacekeeper Station, a derelict asteroid hastily refitted into a hub for Peacekeepers. Well, in this case, the starter Peacekeeper Station is actually very derelict, and this literally only has one other person on it, which is Captain Noble, who will be beating eventually. So, we are almost there, just a little bit further. Alright, we've made it, and what I always like to do is because we'll be traveling a lot between planets and different star systems, so what I like to do is, um, where is, oh, no, 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 view, 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 please. Um, what I like to do is actually bookmark it, so take this, add bookmark, we'll call it Peacekeeper, okay, for some reason the, ty the typing is really laggy for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know why it's so laggy. Oh my gosh. Why is this so laggy? Let me cancel and try again. I'll call it Peacekeeper Station 1. Alright, cool. And of course, you want to look at your bookmarks at any time. Just go over here. You'll actually jump right to it. So, now we are. We actually need to back to deploy. So let's go ahead and deploy. Alright. And you hear that music? That right there is the iconic Peacekeeper music. And you'll hear that every time you go into a station, and even on some missions that you'll do as well. Alright, so here's the station. There is the man himself, Captain Noble. Let me go ahead and turn this um, beacon off, and let's go ahead and talk to him. You there! You're holding a matter manipulator, ain't you? Yes, I am. Well, late this my lucky day. One of you managed to escape, huh? Looks like you can take care of yourself as well. I sure can. The name's Captain Noble, and I think you and I... Or what? Are gonna accomplish great things together. Yes, yes we are. Let me lay out the facts for you. Alright, sit tight, partner. When the Dream Protectorate formed, it aimed to unite the universe with diplomacy, hugs and kisses and all that. It was a nice goal, but it don't mean you ain't gonna have some folks want to throw the first punch. Per first punch. That's where we came in. The Dream Peacekeepers, a quiet team of expert detectives and bounty hunters who dismantled the organization's threatening peace on Earth. Out of the public eye, we'd keep Earth safe so that the Protectorate could safely promote their message of unity. It was a darn good time for us at all. But now Earth is gone, and so are the Peacekeepers. I may be the only Peacekeeper left, but I ain't gonna let that stop me. I wanna rebuild the Peacekeepers. I wanna bust some crime rings, and I wanna look mighty slick doing it all. Are you with me, partner? I sure am, Captain Noble. I sure am. And so that is his introduction, and it is of course the Peacekeeper's introduction in general. Let's go ahead and scan this board. Notice board where bounties for notorious criminals are posted. 
And yeah, it is, like I said before, it is a very derelict station. Just a rusty old bed, rusty, rusty walls, rusty building parts, rusty shower, leaky too. But we'll grow from there. Always keep your head up, Officer Akira. I do my best. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Bounty Board. And so this is where we actually get our Peacekeeper quests, start collecting them, start doing them, and then start collecting rewards from doing them. Welcome to you, Peacekeeper Station Partner. And we don't have a whole lot of rewards because it's just an introduction thing. But, and of course, the next thing we're actually going to do is, I guess you can say... I wouldn't say it's, it's a, I wouldn't say it's a rookie assignment because it kind of is, but I guess you can say this is our um, not a skirmish, our sh our shakedown our shakedown assignment, our I guess you can say our examination to understand what it's like to be a peacekeeper. So this is what is going on here. So wanted leader Captain Ignoble, which is really just Captain Noble wearing a disguise. We need you to locate and apprehend Captain Ignoble. You received a tip that there may be information on El Safi Stream 1B, so you can start your investigation there. And so your rewards, 50 pixels and plus 25 rank. And so we'll be getting this as we go up. So let's go ahead and accept that quest. Let's go up, let's go back up to the ship and see if we can find this planet. Okay, so we're back on the ship. So let's see if we can find it. Okay, so it's not in this star system, which means we will have to be traveling. It is this star system, so let's go ahead and over there. Alright guys, we have reached Al Safi Stream 1B. And so this is where we will, uh, we're going to go ahead and start looking for Captain Ignoble. So let's go ahead and beam down to the planet. Alright, here we are. Your target could be anywhere on this planet, even underground. Explore the planet until we pick up the target signature partner. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. Maybe we might find some nice stuff along the way, who knows. Okay, oh. We have a... Uh, we're crossing into a florid hunting ground on the way in here, but the good thing is... Oh, we actually found something. Oh, dang it, I missed my target. Come on. Alright, now I got him. Dang it, what, what was the thing that um, Captain Noble just said because I missed this message? We picked up the target signature. Your compass will show you the direction. Follow it, partner. Okay, so... So let's go ahead and start working our way. Actually, it was it was opposite of where we were heading initially, but that's okay. So interrogate criminal for clues is what my um, mission line says. So we have to make our way all the way back here. But then again, this is a gentle star on a desert planet. Everything should be easy for us at this point. Um, yeah, I did see something down there. I can I'll probably just go ahead and pick it up later. Not ca not encountering a lot of stuff over here. We are getting closer. Oh wait, we're actually here. Oh, here's a building. It's right here. Why don't you take a look at that? Oh, there he is. Bad position to be in. Come on. Uh, oh, I better split. Don't even think about following me. Something what he was just saying. So anyways, this is his hideout. It's actually pretty up close to the surface, which you are, we are really lucky to have that happen to us. But okay, let's just take a look around a little bit. Might pick up some clues here. It says search containers for clues. So let's go ahead and do that. These lanterns wouldn't work beneath the ocean. Of course not. This computer has a very off-putting color scheme. That much is certain. Nice copper lamp. Industrial ceiling light made from copper. Okay, we got some boxes here. As well as a handwritten note. We'll have, go ahead and read that. Anything else around here that might be of significance? Doesn't look like it. We also have a, what is it, a handprint or a finger marking. Fingerprint. Citra trace complete uploading coordinates. Okay, that is a possibility. A possibility indeed. What else we got around here? We Okay, that's right. Handwritten note. That's pretty much the only other thing here. Howdy, Peacekeeper. I read to inform you that I, Captain Ignoble, am no longer residing in this particular residence. I set up camp somewhere else on Alsafi Stream 2. Find me if you can. Alright, so we shall. Anything else? Just search computers for clues, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, actually, wait. What do you say it was again? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Oh my gosh. I forgot to turn on the computer. Captain Ignoble is located on Planet Selfie Street 2. Nice work finding all these clues, partner. You have enough info to track down the rowdy Captain Ignoble now. Alright. That is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead, beam back up to the ship, and I'll meet you guys down on El Safi Stream 2. Alright guys, here we are down on El Safi Stream 2. And just like as usual, we're going to go ahead and look around for any traces of Captain Ignoble. Hopefully we will find something. So far, it looks like we're just passing some abandoned homes and living spaces. Oh, Captain Ignoble spotted, detected. He's down here somewhere, underground. 
Which means we're going to have to make our way underground, of course. Is there any... Any obvious opening I can start? Or do I have to do this manually? Well, it probably looks like I'm going to have to do this manually. But that's alright. We'll be down eventually. But right now, it looks like all the enemies want to kill me. And I mean all of them. Look at this place. Take out this one other enemy, I guess. Okay. Anyways, he should be down here. Anyone else? Okay. Okay, yeah, he's really far underground then. So, okay, let's just go ahead and keep on digging. Maybe get some coal along the way, who knows. Oh wow, really far down. Take out on those enemies along the way. Okay, keep going, I guess. Oh, there he is. He's down. He's right down here, actually. Look at him. He's right there. Now, will he defect, detect me first? Will I detect him first? Let's go ahead and give the running start, then. Got him. Gosh darn it, I've been handcuffed. I sure hope you don't send me off to space jail, partner. Rowdy peace disturbers are done for. Captain Noble must be mighty smart and handsome guy to do all that. Wow, I can't believe it, partner. You took down the mysterious and handsome Captain Ignoble. Return to the Peacekeeper Station for a new assignment. That's pretty awesome. And then, of course, this is basically the default quest complete icon. You took on Captain Ignoble and came out on top. The universe is vast, but the arm of the law is long. Come by the Peacekeeper Station to collect your rewards. Okay, hey, we did pretty okay, I guess. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything else in this particular hideout. But that's alright. Anyways, let's go back up to the ship and I'll meet you guys back at the Peacekeeper Station. Alright, approaching the Peacekeeper Station now. And here we are. Our quest completed, our shakedown default assignment completed. And so this is what our rewards have, so... Captain Ignoble captured, plus 50 pixels, plus 25 rank, plus 1 credits. New assignment, and rank up. So that is pretty cool, and now we're gonna go ahead and take down entire criminal gangs now and this is pretty much what you're going to be doing for pretty much the rest of your peacekeeper career and who knows you'll be able to take down some really high powerful criminals so let's go ahead and accept all these different um wanted posters our missions so let's start with um i guess we could start with a simple you know creature mission which is basically find a creature on a specific planet and kill it because this will disturb the peace we've had reports of creature wreaking havoc on garth menvar rim 2 the locals have taken it to calling it Abbey, and they're too afraid to leave their homes. Can you travel there and take care of it? We get 350 pixels and plus 5 rank. Let's go ahead and accept that. Here's another creature quest. We've had reports of creature wreaking havoc on Sludun Muster 2. So the locals have taken to calling it Bruby, and they're too afraid to leave their homes. Again, can you travel there and take care of it? 350 pixels plus 5 rank. And then we also have some standard criminals. We need you to apprehend a small time crook known as Marosia on Gath Memvar Rim 1. They're pretty small time, so they ain't gonna cause these much too much of a problem. 350 pixels plus 5 rank. Okay. And then we need you to apprehend a small time crook known as Janaid Gen Genid on Loxol Loxol Eclipse 2, something like that. They're pretty small time, so they ain't gonna cause you too much of a problem. 350 pixels plus 5 rank. We need you to apprehend a small time crook known as Cogquail on Alresha on Al Rim 3. And these are some really interesting star system things, let me tell you, partner. They're pretty small times, so and ain't gonna cause you too much of a problem. 350 pixels plus 5 rank. And then, um, all for all your um, quest rounds, you're also gonna have a high value criminal as well. We need you to locate and apprehend Screamin' Tsubaki. Huh, we received. Screaming, huh? We received a tip that there may be information on Arisha Rim, so you should start your investigation there. Capture. 1,000 pixels plus 25 rank. Yes. High value for sure. So, let's go ahead and accept all those quests. So that's actually a lot of quests. There, They should all be pretty local. Like, all the all the uh, gentle star systems, at least in this area, should be pretty close by. But that doesn't really make much of a difference anyway. So let's go ahead back to the ship and see... If we could, I'm just going to go ahead and show you some of the um, some of these quests. I mean, a lot of these are repetitive. A lot of these are pretty similar. Like if you look back at um, 
Rosia, Jenid, and Cogquill, those are all your standard criminals, so all their missions are pretty similar. Same thing with all the creature missions, creature missions are all pretty similar. And then of course Screaming Tsubaki, um, all the high value um, criminals will be a little bit more involved, you had to jump around to different places and all that. But you'll eventually get him or her. So with the time that we have left, I'm gonna probably gonna go ahead and show you one of each. We're gonna go ahead and show you a um, a creature quest. We're gonna show you a standard criminal quest, and we're gonna go ahead and show you a high value criminal quest. Um, I don't think I'll have time to do any of the crime bosses today. Each um, criminal gang has one crime boss that you do at the end of that specific quest line. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, but. I will definitely show you that next episode because I, for next episode, I actually have um, taking down crime bosses as pretty much the big um, feature of the next episode. But anyways, with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and search around for these criminals. So, okay, no criminals in this system. I mean, then again, we peacekeepers have direct control of it. Um, Gathman Var Rim, Shonan Muster. Look, stole Eclipse. Let me go ahead and take a look where all these people are again. That's Gath Memvar Rim, Shodan Muster, Alresha Rim. Uh, Memvar Rim. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start Gath, Gath Memvar Rim. Uh, since we're at it, because I want because two quests I want to do will start at that planet. So okay, here it is. Let's go ahead and travel over there. All right, guys, here we are at Gath Memvar Rim. So we have Gath Memvar Rim two and Gath Memvar Rim one. Um, let's go ahead and go to Gath Memvar Rim two since I think that planet is just a little bit closer. All right, now just as usual, we have to search the planet for the target signature. Oh, Abby is actually pretty close by. Let me go ahead and just mine these blocks really quickly. And these. Or make, probably make a detour and just take a look at some of these blocks. Or not blocks, but take a look inside those crates. Maybe take a look what's inside this chest here. I'll probably... I mean, a lot of these items are really low quality, so I'll probably just go ahead and sell it. I think I took an extra block here. Let's put it back right there. Anyways, Abby should be just around the corner. And uh, don't worry, citizen, I'll be taking care of your problems. It's pretty dry here, huh? Yeah, it is. It's a desert. Here's Abby. And that was pretty taken care of really quickly, actually. You took out Abby. Excellent work, partner. Universe is just a little bit safer now. Come by to Peacekeeper Station to collect your rewards. Okay. So with that out of the way... I mean, don't forget, we do have pretty powerful equipment, so creature kills should be really, really easy. But, with that out of the way, let's go ahead over to Gath Memvar Rim 1. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look around a little bit. Search the planet for the tar target signature. Should come up at some point. Oh, Apprehend Morosia. Looks like this person is underground. So, we gotta figure out a way to get... Best way to get underground. Probably start a, uh... Hmm... We'll probably start, a, start digging right here, I guess. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Down, deeper and deeper we go. Oh, actually, I see the building already, and holy cow. That is a lot of Urkeus fuel. You know what, let's go ahead and collect that Urkeus fuel, because... Wait. No. I can't. I can't collect it. Are you serious? I can't collect it! Oh, come on! I can't collect it! Dang it! I guess I have to figure, figure out another way to collect it. Or I guess... Press the lever here and then just let this whole place fill over with uh, Urkia's fuel. Anyways, here are the criminals down here. Morosia is pretty well armed, so I guess we're gonna have to brute force it. But that's alright. Our equipment is... is really good. Nope. The operation was a failure, but wait, hold on. She only... I think it's a she, only has half health, which means it's a trick. So we'll unequip, or, or actually she'll go up right away. This operation was a failure, okay, now she's down. Urgh. And there she goes. We got her. You took on Marosia and came out on top. The diverse is vast, but he armed a laws long. Come on, peacekeeper, peacekeeper stage to collect your boards. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
Anyways, oh, we actually do have a lot of Urxus fuel. And we are starting to run a little bit low. We got about half a tank on our ship left. But, got a lot of fuel here. Let's go ahead and take it all. Okay. So I'd say that's pretty okay. I really like that a lot. Now, can I actually go ahead and take this fuel now the quest is over? Oh, yes, now I can. So I think all these pre-generated structures are indestructible until you've captured all the criminals necessary. And then you can go ahead and start mining blocks. Okay. Good for me to know. That's good to know. Anything else? Okay, that one's basically empty. Let's go ahead and take care of this last one. Alright, cool. We got all the fuel we need. Now let's go back up to the ship. So, so far I've shown you what a standard monster quest looks like, and I've shown you what a standard criminal quest looks like. So now, let us go ahead and go and take down a high-value criminal. And so this, they're actually... Um, designated with blue um, exclamation marks instead of a standard yellow exclamation mark. So let's go ahead and travel to Arisha Rim. All right, here we are at Arisha Rim. So interestingly enough, this our um, start for taking down the high value criminal actually starts with a space anomaly. You'll have you'll have that happen sometimes, but don't worry, we got a mech anyway. So let's go ahead and deploy the mech. All right. Let me go ahead and turn the graphics, or I should say turn the zoom way out, so of course we can see everything in much more clear sense, and of course um, earlier warnings and all that. And so actually what I was trying to say earlier about the fake cuffs was that on occasion a criminal will actually um, go down at around half health and put on something called fake cuffs to basically catch you off guard and you, and you think, oh well, the capture is over and all that, right? But no, it's not. It is not at all. I so saw you'll be you'll be going back to the fight soon, right? The way to to activate the fight again is to either disarm or to just stand still and just not do anything like we just did, right? And so but then again, so then the fight will continue and then when the when your criminal reaches no health at all, empty health, then you're pretty much done. You can go ahead and capture that criminal, right? Anyways, here we are out in the space anomaly because that's where we're going to start finding clues for this high-value criminal. Some of their stations actually look pretty interesting. Uh, anyways, of course, first we're going to have to clear this area of all the standard space encounter enemies. But it should be really easy right now because our mech is kind of powerful, right? Anyways, here is the station approaching it now. Looks like criminals are all ready. I don't know if this one will come at me right away. But if not, swords out. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Pretty easy. Anything I can scan here? Maybe some crates will have me something for me? Okay, maybe they do. Let's take a look at this. Be careful with this right here. Docking fields like this are common space and make quite effective airlocks. It's referring to this electrical barrier, or this uh, space dock barrier right here. But We have a little bit of a jump boost. Let's jump up to the next part of the um, station. Maybe look around a little bit. An unremarkable and rather ugly table. Yes, of course. Maybe some handprints are worthwhile scanning. And that criminal was taken out easily. Handprint again. Got a little chest here. We have to activate something to access this chest. Oh. You won't get me, you won't get me that easily. Oh, I missed my target. And... Okay, done. Taken care of. Got a little bit of a kitchen here with a fridge. Anything here? No. Dang it. Oh. Gath Memvar Rim 1. Sounds like a mighty fine lead, doesn't it? I already found a lead, huh? Let's go and take out the rest of these criminals then while we're at it. Anything for us to scan here? Maybe some metal chairs that the luxury hiles are used to, but there are satisfactions to be gained here. Alright, so we actually have all of our clues. I just gotta figure out... Oh wait, it's actually this console right here. Alright, cool. Now we actually have access to this secret chest over here. We got ourselves two manipulator modules, salvage thruster nozzle, and some hold handles. Okay, that's pretty okay. Alright, cool. So now we know where to look. Let's go back up to the ship. I'll meet you down on Goth Memvar Rim 1. Goth Gath Memvar Rim 1. Okay, I'll meet you there. Alright, guys, here we are down at Gath Memvar Rim 1. Search for the planet. Search the planet for the target signature, just as usual. And we have actually been to this planet already, so that tunnel over there I've already dug. Uh, but anyways, let's keep looking around. Hopefully we'll be able to find something. So far, nothing as of yet. But that'll be alright. 
Oh wow, well, we've we've come across an avian village. But we'll have to cross through here pretty fast if we want to get to where we're looking for. That is, if we can find what we're looking for in a good amount of time. Oh, search for clues. Looks like we'll be a little bit underground here, but this will be hard to dig in an existing settlement. Um, citizens of settlements don't really like it when you dig in their area, so we're going to have to find another way around. Uh, great, that's just wonderful. It had to be underneath this settlement. So it sounds like we're going to have to take a long approach, go right outside the settlement, and start digging horizontally and then vertically. Jeez, this is one huge settlement, let me tell you that. It's pretty extensive. Okay, this looks like the end. Don't worry, soldier, I'm a, I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. But yeah, we're going to have to dig. Maybe collect some mushrooms along the way. I think this is a pretty... I think that's a I think that's a pretty good enough death for us to dig through. And are we getting any closer? Oh, I found him! I found him, guys! Look at that! So let's take out any other enemies who might be in the area. Huh? I thought I was, I thought I was following someone down here. Okay, anyways. Here we are. Oh! We've been had! We've been found! We've been detected! Anyways, it doesn't matter. Here we are! Attack! Attack! And it doesn't look like our boy is here. Oh well. So I guess we'll just look around for clues, I guess. This ain't it. This ain't it yet. Anything else? Okay, we got some handprints. And we got a console. Most recent delivery was from Slodhon Mustard 2. You heard a computer? You need to roll on down to Slodhon Mustard 2. Yes. Yes, we do. So I'll meet you guys down there. Alright guys, here we are down at Slodhon Muster 2. Someone's actually living in this space. I guess we can just take a look at third really quickly. Nah, I don't feel like robbing anyone right now. Not like it matters anyway. But the clues are this way, so we are heading in the right direction, which is pretty nice. Okay, but a lot of enemies are out here going to kill me because it is nighttime. Oh jeez, we actually got some raiders over here. Let's take, it, take care of them really quickly. They're both killed. Anyone else? Okay, what is the best way in? Oh, what the heck? Another creature quest? Well, okay. Well, I got a creature quest out of the way. We took out Brugby. That's pretty cool. Hey, I said okay. There we go. Anyways, the man we want has got to be in here. Oops. And dawn is starting to peek through the sky now. But here we are. Let's take a look at this place. Nice, nice place you got here, I must say. Old crafty pressurized door. Wait for it. Caught you by surprise, but you did get the hit on me first. Anything in these lockers? A few things. But unfortunately, our criminal here, our, our high value criminal is not on this place. It does tell me search for clues. Catch him by surprise. Alright, so let's take a look around a little bit more. Handprint. More of their handprint. We got a disc. So that's a big clue right there. Other than that, that's really all we got, unfortunately. Handprint, handprint, console. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at that disc right here. And because of that, Screaming Tsubaki is heading to a Lokstol Eclipse 2 instead, okay? Oh, that's all the information we need. Lokstol Eclipse 2. And don't leave a recording of this conversation behind by accident again. Well, it happened. I don't know if it was by accident, but it happened. <laughs> it's just our luck that the wrongdoers ain't so smart, huh? Y'all better head on over to Luxtal Eclipse, Eclipse 2. Okay, so I'll meet you guys down on that planet. Alright, here we are down on the planet. Let's go ahead and search for the target signature again. A lot of it is repetitive work. I mean, it is what I said, so that's why I only want to show you a few examples. Oh, wow! Now this right here is a, fill, is a big facility, a big criminal hideout. And the criminal, our boy, is actually here, so that is epic. 
We actually got ourselves a tomato in a trash can. Don't waste your food like that. It's perfectly good food. Anyways, let's go ahead and guns blazing. Or I shouldn't say guns blazing. Melee and throwing weapons blazing. Because this guy might be tough. Shields up. Here we go. Gotcha. Huh. A knowledgeable smuggler association won't let this slide, peacekeeper. You took on Jindid and came out on top. The universe is vast, but the arm of the law is long. Come by peacekeeper sage to collect your rewards. Oh, wait. That's not screaming, Subaki. That's Jined. Jined. Just a standard criminal. Oh, well, that's all right. Two birds and one stone is always good. All right, you're next. You're dead. No, no hard feelings. No hard feelings. Anyways, take a look around here since we're at it. Pixels and all that. Console, not like it was any useful. Not like it's any use to us, I meant. Anyways, our boy is underground. Any obvious openings? Okay, doesn't look like it. So I guess we'll have to dig manually. Where's the best place I want to dig? That's the question. I guess we'll start here. Start digging. We'll dig a little bit diagonally. Oh, wow. The hideout is right here. Apprehend Screaming Subaki. He is actually here. That's pretty awesome. You are dead. Anything else I can look around here for? Take some tungsten ore. Handprints. Handprint. Handprint. Console. Chest. Crate, I meant. Rusty crate. And here he is. Let's get our get our shield and chakram ready. Door open. This person just declothe. Take these handcuffs off or there will be consequences. I don't think so. You just streaked in front of me. I deserved better. I don't know about that. You took on Screaming Subaki and came out on top. The universe is vast, but the arm of the law is long. Come by the Peacekeeper Station to collect your rewards. A. Hey, not bad indeed. Not bad at all. So we took out our high value criminal. Now, we do have a few other criminals we need to take down, and like I said, a lot of these missions are very similar and kind of repetitive, but that's okay. We just need one more guy, Cog Quill, so let me go ahead and take him down, and I'll meet you guys back at the peace Peacekeeper Station. Approaching the Peacekeeper Station now. Here we are. Hello there, Captain Noble. All those quests on the board are all complete. Isn't that amazing? Always keep your head up, Officer Akira. Just doing my best, just doing my best. So let's take a look at all the, all the rewards we got. So, Jended, 350 pixels, plus five rank, plus one credits. Screaming Subaki, our high value criminal, 1000 pixels, 25 rank, three credits. Ruby, 350 pixels, five rank, one credit. Abby, 350 pixels, five rank, one credit. Cockwill, 350 pixels, five rank, one credit. Morosia, 350 pixels, five rank, one credit. Awesome. And so we have another round of criminals we need to do. Let me just uh, probably just go ahead and accept all those quests. We got Virgo, a um, standard criminal. We got Avi, a creature. We got Moonbolt, standard criminal. We got Embir, standard criminal. We got Arky, a cri a creature, not a criminal, a creature. And we got Wadio Lecter. Wadio Lecter, interesting, a high value criminal. So. That, my friends, is basically the basis of, of peacekeeping, which is you have all these different peacekeeper missions you want to do, you accept all those quests, you track them down on wherever they're considered to be located. For more high value criminals, it's basically you're jumping around a lot because you have to pick up all sorts of clues to find out where they're actually located, then you capture them. And as rewards, you get pixels, you get credits, and you also have rank, which is um, indicated by this bar up here. Now, usually, you have to do two rounds of criminal hunting before you fill this bar up fully, and then you can go ahead and take down the, the boss of the gang that you're basically hunting, right? Now, we, we're not going to be um, hunting the boss for this episode, but we will be in the next episode. It will actually be focusing... Just like I said earlier in the episode, we'll be focusing entirely on taking down crime bosses in the next episode. So with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and end that episode here. So thank you guys for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Let's me know how I'm doing. And I'll see more of my content when I hit the subscribe button. How about me and how about you? So once again, thank you all. Until next time.
I'll see you around.